Hello again, I'm Joel Leonard. They call me the Maintenance Evangelist. We're here for another edition of Skill TV. We're here at Fayetteville Technical Community College in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, or Fayetteville, North Carolina, near Fort Bragg. And we're here trying to uncover uh, some resources that can really help uh, companies in these challenging uh, economic times that we're in. So many companies are really grappling with some tough decisions and they need to uh, focus on efficiency and effectiveness programs and so many companies are just looking at things and cutting costs and they aren't really looking at how things can be more efficient and more effective and so we're here today to try to find groups that can help them align to those goals and we have alignment supplies with me Paul Barbarian here to help us, help us with that process. So help get us aligned here, Paul. Well, as you probably know, 50% uh, of all machine failures can be attributed to misalignment, whether it's bearings or seals or coupling now, failures. Now, I know what alignment is, but a lot of people that view this aren't necessarily in industry. Okay. What, what, is, what would alignment mean? Maybe? What we're trying to do is we're trying to take a motor, shaft, and the shaft of whatever piece of equipment it's driving, compressor, a fan, a pump, we want to get those shafts, what we call collinear, or aligned, so that when they spin, they spin on the same axis. Don't that happen, doesn't that happen automatically? When no, because when, there, when, when you install the motor, uh, you don't know from a visual standpoint, you don't know which way the driven shaft is facing, is pointing. So there's, uh, Angular, you can't just see that? No, there's angular misalignment and there's horizontal uh, offset misalignment. It happens in the vertical and the horizontal axis. So you've got to know exactly how that driven shaft is positioned to align the motor shaft. Otherwise, you're going to be creating forces, and this is a bit of an exaggeration, and the shafts will go like this if they're not aligned. So what does that mean? So that puts additional wear and pressure and stresses on the bearings. On the, on the seals, on the couplings. Uh, it can affect the stator and the rotor and the windings. It's also gonna make, uh, cost more energy because now the motor is working harder to do things it wasn't intended to do. And if you ever notice, uh, if, you've, if, if you've fooled around with rotating equipment and, and, it's, and you've got things that are uncoupled or unaligned, they'll try to pull themselves into alignment as they move. So when the, when the motor is misaligned, it's constantly trying to align itself. And those stresses are what help destroy all those other components. So that's a big reason why companies are constantly going through bearings and, and motors and shafts and those kind of things because they uh, are not aligned right? Is that, is that's that, correct. that pretty is that pretty common? It's, it accounts for 50% of machine failures. 50% of machine failures? Plus the downtime associated with that machine failing, plus the lost production. And the energy costs that are for the extra? Energy costs for the extra, um, extra, extra stresses that you're accounting for. So, so you're telling me that there's a better way than just looking at it and seeing it and getting it all aligned. How do you do that? Well, what we do is we use the, the measuring unit components. We have a laser. You use a laser? We use a laser. We have, a, we have what we call a stationary machine and a movable machine. Typically our motor will be our movable machine. We have a laser that comes out of each of these measuring units that represents the center line of each one of those shafts. The laser hits the detector so that each of these knows where the other center line is. And then we use our computer to calculate the moves that we will make to in, a, in the horizontal and the vertical positions to uh, compensate for that misalignment. So we'll use shims in the vertical position and we can move it side to side horizontally. That seems like overkill to me. That's really that necessary? Uh, it is because the, the alternatives are uh, some people use straight edges, which are very inaccurate. Uh, a lot of people use uh, dial indicators, which are a lot less expensive, but require a lot of skill and a lot of training. Um, there are people out there that, are, that do a very, very good job with dial indicators, but they may be one or two guys in the whole plant that understand the theory behind that and actually know how to do it. So the laser makes it very, very fast and very, very easy. So that even in a, uh, even in a inspection mode, it's easy to throw the laser on and do a quick measurement to see if you're within alignment, to see if you're within the tolerances 
as you're doing repairs. So is this something you need to do regularly or is this something you just do at the beginning and it's well on its way? It's, uh, it's, it's super critical to do it in the beginning. When you do the install, um, if you've got pieces of equipment that have never been aligned, they should be aligned. Uh, and it really depends on the speed of the machine, the criticality of the machine, the load of the machine. But you might want to recheck it every six to 12 months. Um, it, it just, again, depends on the piece of equipment. Uh, once it's aligned, it should stay aligned. But, but things happen, you know, things vibrate, things get loose, things move, things get hit by forklifts. Um, you know, uh, you have issues maybe with pipe strain. If you haven't, uh, if you've got pipe strain that's constantly wanting to move a pump, it could cause some misalignment. So it's a good idea to check every six to 12 months. Whatever your normal inspection. Uh, uh, so is it good for companies to, to what kind of, how much cost are we looking at here? Well, we can, we can get them in a, a good alignment kit from anywhere from 6000 to about $12,000. But if they've got millions of dollars of equipment, that's not that big of an investment. Absolutely. And if they're Absolutely. replacing motors and bearings and all that all the time, they're spending that already. That's correct. And we have case studies on our website that show that you can get enough cost savings uh, from alignment to justify the cost. Where would they go to find that? Uh, AlignmentSupplies.com. Okay. And you you supply, where, where's your area that you, you serve? We cover the United States. We cover all of the United States. Um, we represent Easy Laser. We're alignment supplies. We represent the Easy Laser brand. Uh, and Easy Laser has uh, distributors all over the world. Well, this is fascinating. Uh, well, anything else you'd like to share? Uh, this morning, what other things do you think we well, can we, do? Well, uh, we also have systems that will measure geometric. Uh, so for uh, precision machine tools, we can do flatness and straightness and squareness, uh, parallel. Uh, we measure, for instance, in the wind industry, we measure on flange tap, flanges for wind towers. We can measure flatness and parallel. Um, for, for the blade flanges, for the hub flanges, we can measure flatness because when you put two sections of a tower together, you want to obviously make sure that they're going to be straight because they're going to be 90 meters in the air and have a great big wind turbine on top of them. So you don't want that, those forces that are trying to pull that over. And you certainly don't want to try and close the gaps in the flanges with torque. So we measure the flatness on that. Um, again, with lathes, with milling machines, with those types of equipment we can, that are need to be precision, um, we can measure down to half of a half of a thousandth of an inch. What type of industries use this kind of technology? Really anybody, right, anybody with rotating equipment is using this equipment. Uh, we have customers in all sorts of industries. We have marine industry, we can do stern tube alignments.